Hello everyone, this is Gleb. Today I want to show a little demo of a framework called Quick. Quick is fast, that's why the name. And I want to show why it's fast. So let me initialize a very simple kind of hello world example using Quick. I will use Quick to create a new project. I'll name it, let's say, Quick 1. And I'll just create an empty app. We'll install npm dependencies. Initialize git. Yes, let's hear a joke. What time is it? I don't know. It keeps changing. Both jokes, you know. Okay, let me go into the folder I created. Let me open code editor. So we have vit, tsconfig, source folder. Notice that everything uses TypeScript. Excellent. The one thing I really want to do right away is to copy prettier settings so that anytime I save in my VS code, it updates everything. Okay, so this is the root file and let me just remove everything but the component dollar sign. Component dollar sign is the quick method of creating a component that could be rendered server side or client side or a mixture. And I'll just remove everything and right here i'll return something like hello and let's see if this works now i need to start the local server and there are a couple of options where is the build and where is the dev so we're developing so probably dev npm run dev uses vid warns you about performance that's fine cannot be rendered because it's not valid entry point for a child of html no worries let's just add body around our component okay perfect it's working and if you scroll up we can see that it's serving the dev at local cost 5173 anytime i'm doing kind of development work i use incognito browser so it doesn't have all my extensions and the performance is better so what do we see if we preserve a log and disable caching and we log all network requests is the following. We're serving a localhost page and then some client bundles. And there is also a WebSocket connection so that if we change something, so let's change it to hello exclamation point and we save, it reloads the page. But by default, it's actually a pretty simple page. And if we look at what we are serving, there is HTML with some styles, right? And some JavaScript. But if we look at the elements on the page, notice there is a whole bunch of stuff. And it's for adding this little widget, the little inspector. But anytime you click on a component, it actually goes to that place. So what is actually served to the client? Our page is static. Notice, right? There is no logic, nothing. So potentially the best page would be just HTML. In a dev mode where we have uh, module reload, we have all this extra stuff. So if you want to see the page, what the user would see ultimately, we have to build the final version and serve it. So let me stop and let me run, uh, let's say npm run build. Okay, so now it optimizes everything. It looks at the components and sees what do you really need. Okay, build something and it says npm run preview to preview the production build. Now, in this case, it's at port 4173 and it already opened. It's very fast. Notice when I'm reloading, there is no flash. If I look at the network tab and I reload, notice only the page gets served. And if you look at the page, it's just static HTML. There is some, you know, overhead from quick, but it's tiny because there are no objects, no JavaScript. It's as fast as it can possibly be because it optimized everything and it figured out there is no JavaScript to serve to a client. Now, let's say we do want to add some logic to our client. Let's say right here, and I'm going to switch back to the dev mode. Let's say right here, we'll add a button. So I'll add a P element and a button and I'll say click me and Right now it's there, but it does nothing. I'm gonna clear this. I will add, let's say on click handler, on click 
And notice again, where is this dollar sign that Quick uses? And I'll say uh, just alert since 42. Okay. So now if we click, we see 42. And notice that if we reload the page, all right, we look at localhost. Again, there is some JavaScript. And if we look at the elements, we see the button. And on click, it says here's this long um, you know, script URL, right? And if we look at what happens when we click, that URL actually gets downloaded and the JavaScript is executed. So just in time execution. And if we look at this actual JavaScript, notice this is our alert. So we sp spend very little time downloading JavaScript and we only download when we actually need it by default. Let's see what happens in production build. Okay, so this is our page again, right? We are downloading the page, right? And it's just the static page. You can see it downloads a little bit of glue code, right? You know, just some bundles. But then if you click on the button right here, it says, okay, go to that script like QYF and do something there. And if we click on the button, obviously it's working and this QYF only has the code that we want to execute. Extremely fast, extremely efficient. We go to Lighthouse and we analyze the page load. I know it's a small page, right? But still think about it. Quick has been able to look at my component code and figure out that for initial page load, it's just a static page, right? And, and it loads it as fast as possible. No overhead in downloading or parsing JavaScript. And only when I click on the button, then it downloads that piece of code and executes it. So this is what's making Quick quick. I'm really excited about this framework. Probably will start a new YouTube playlist.